In this week's edition of Ajax's Tech Tips, we're going to talk about the importance of properly torquing fasteners. Manufacturers have a recommendation for the torque of fasteners that you can usually find it in an owner's or service manual. It's very important to not only get a bolt tight enough, but also not too tight. Uh, there's different types of torque wrenches you can use. You have one here that has a dial on it. Uh, this is your typical rotate to the proper torque spec wrench, and this is same thing. It's not necessary to buy a $500 torque wrench if you're just using it around the house for your own basic maintenance. Uh, if you're doing it for a living, generally you have a little bit more expensive torque wrench. But something you can get at an inexpensive tool supplier will do just fine for what you're going to do. It's still better than three white knuckles in a sweat ball. Whenever you're not using your torque wrench, you always want to back it off so that there's no tension on the torque mechanism inside. There's a spring and other things in there that have to be calibrated so you don't want any undue tension on them while they're in the storage state. When it comes to proper torquing of fasteners, you want to make sure you don't over torque. Some fasteners are more critical than others, but we're going to show you why. On a triple clamp, if you over torque your pinch bolts, you can actually cause undue pressure on the outer fork tube. And that can cause the inner fork tube to bind as it comes up through the travel of its stroke. On fork pinch bolts, down for your axle. If you over torque these, it, doesn't, it allows your axle to not float like it's intended to do. And that can cause a bind when you tighten things down in, a, in an improper sequence and also cause your front end to feel stiff or bind when you try to compress it. Engine fasteners. Since your engine is part of your frame when it's mounted, the amount of flex that is transmitted from your engine through your chassis is important. And therefore the manufacturer has torque specs so that you do not over torque it to make things too rigid or cause undue stress on the bolts, which could cause them to stretch or eventually break. When it comes to axles, uh, rear axle, front axle, swing arm pivot, if you over torque axles, especially ones that have a bearing behind them, it can cause too much of a load on that bearing and cause premature wear and failure of that bearing. Not to mention excessive drag. And something that's important to note whenever you're using your torque wrench, you always want to make sure when you set your torque and you get your fastener to the specified torque and it clicks, you don't sit there and keep clicking or go beyond that click. That click is when you stop and that's when you're at the torque. If you have multiple bolts that you have to torque, like say in the instance of a cylinder head and you have to go in a pattern, you can come back and check, but when it clicks, you don't want to go past that position or, you know, make it tighter by clicking it multiple times. 